Do you love BMWs? I do. Today I went to Lars Anderson's Automotive Museum in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. Let's go. It's Mike, the Bald Adonis. Boom! Hey guys, if you're watching this video for the very first time, welcome. My name is Mike, the Bald Adonis, and I am a multi topic channel. Not just a car guy, even though I'm a huge enthusiast, but I talk about things that we all go through health concerns. I'm relatable in one way or another with you. Do you know somebody that's been in jail? I spent five years, three months in prison. Do you know anybody that has health concerns? I have one too many health problems that I've been dealing with for years. How to talk from steroid abuse. I have migraines and vertigo due to environmental pollution. Imagine yourself getting off an amusement ride and you were dizzy like a roller coaster or that thing that spins like this and you walk around like that. I've been living like that for six years. Six years. I've been slowly been getting better each year. This year, I've come a long way from the past five years. So I'm now able to get out there and do things. So I talk about that on my channel. I have conspiracy theories with Gary from the gym. I'm not a conspiracy theorist you know, freak like he is, but he's interesting and some people like him, so I put him on the show. I have inspirational talks with Peter, Dr. Peter Pococco. He's my mentor. So what else do I talk about? Whatever I feel like talking about. So if you want a multi-topic channel that is from a real person, please subscribe, enjoy the videos. If you don't like them, you know, unsubscribe. What can I say? All right. So in tonight's video, guys, the reason why I went to BMW's car show today is because a couple of weeks ago, I bought my 25th. Yes, folks, my 25th BMW. I've been buying BMWs for about 16 years now. And I caught the bug when I was a young kid. I was 19, going on 20. And I went to Arizona in 1989. A friend of mine's uncle had a, I'm not sure what year it was, but it was a 5 Series. I'm not sure if it was a 533 or a 528. I just don't remember. It was a long time ago. All I recall was it was a six-cylinder automatic. I got in the back seat and he was doing 110 miles an hour on the canyon roads like that. And I fell in love with BMW. They gave me the keys more than once and I was pimping. I was like love and life. So when I was able to buy my very first BMW, I got the bug. It was one series after another. E24, E28, E36, E46, E88, E82, fucking hike, hike, go long. Fucking too many numbers for BMWs. But I love them. But I also hate them because the maintenance on these things are, they drive you bananas. <sighs> but anyways, I bought my 25th BMW. It's a 1989 325i convertible with the sport package or the sport seats, sport steering wheel. Okay, so that's gonna be coming up. That's gonna be coming up on a future video very soon. So a, mm, a few days ago, maybe about five days ago, I was coming from the gym. I saw this beautiful 635 CSI. I flagged the owner down. He was coming through a set of lights. I gave him the thumbs up and I drove around and I was, I went looking for him. I saw him, 
I flattened him down. I asked him all about the car. I took a little video. His name is Max. And Max, thank you. Thank you for spending 15 to 20 minutes that you did having a great conversation about your car. It's a beautiful car. And he suggested that I, I go to Brookline today. And I was glad that I did because I seen some beautiful cars. Have you guys ever seen a Z8? I did today. Have you guys seen the Z with the drop down doors? I did. Have you seen a E46 M3 station wagon? I did. And many, many more. Oh, maybe that 1M, remember that car? I seen that today. It was an awesome day. And that station wagon that was an M3, of course it wasn't factory made, the guy made it himself. Not bad, not bad. All right, so, um, yeah. I spent the whole morning down at Brookline. The Lars Anderson, if you go into this place, it's incredible. So I'm gonna give you a little clip to watch. These cars from back in the day are magnificent, unbelievable. So here's a short clip. So I did the usual walk around, talked to many, many people, loving every single car that I seen. I, did, I couldn't do a lot with everybody, but I want to thank everybody that did talk to me. I want to thank the young man, 25 years old, did his, did his what do you have, in 1975, 2002. We started doing an interview but with all the people talking, and then the judge came in and interrupted everything. I'm sorry, I had to cut out most of the conversation, but your car didn't make it in and it looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, I just had a great day today. So I got my inspiration today, big time, on my E30. Now my E30, I bought it, like I said, a couple of weeks ago. It's a rust-free car. You guys are gonna see it in the upcoming video. But I buy and sell cars as a hobby. I am simply a person that will send it off to the next enthusiast. I will fix a few things here and there. Yes, I love these cars. I just want them to go to a better home. I just want to enjoy BMWs, just different ones, as much as possible. So stick around for nine minutes and enjoy the car show, folks. Guys, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Until next video, everybody, ball dance out.
Anderson Automobile Museum today. This is my 1975 BMW 2002. Uh, I've restored it from the ground up. Uh, everything that you see on the car, myself, this guy named Sean Resendiz, and this other guy, Jared Hurt, have all done. Uh, we're all under 30. This is uh, being entered into the Audrey and Concours in Newport, 30 under 30 class.